this um, a lot of people have asked for a uh, video on close hauling and this is going to be a mixture of three different sales where we've been close hauling um, today we're in um, Belfast Lock um, but we've also um, did a lot of close hauling on the way to from um, Larne to um, Lamlash and we also did another close haul when we were um, going from Carrick to Larne. So we've done a lot of different sales, so it's going to be a mismatch. So hopefully you can learn something. But today it's a little bit more frisky, so <laughs> we're not quite close hauling. Um, it's not a good classroom day. <laughs> it's not a good classroom day. it's been a windy day in Carrick. Last year I started a lot of blogs with the phrase it's been a windy day in Bangor and it was because we had storm after storm after storm last winter and I'm hoping that this winter is going to be different and we don't repeat it over here in Carrick but the last couple of days have been absolute corker. Uh, we had a huge storm and apparently there's another one coming. So we've had 40-50 knots uh, of wind and uh, it's basically kept us on the boat and given us very very little to do. So it basically means that going out and sailing has not been an option. Um, there's the bug, of course, getting in everybody's way. So that also cuts down our options of what we can do and where we can go. Um, and there's the weather. It's just got colder. But, well, we hope to go out and um, get more footage done and get more things done. We're hoping to do some of the suggestions people have made to us on the channel. Um, one of the things we have been asked about is sail trim. As you know, we've mentioned it once or twice and we're going to take the opportunity to look back at the sunnier days that we've been out and use some of that video to do some sail trim stuff. And we've managed to also shoot some extra stuff here in the marina before the storms hit. So we'll see about using that. But uh, we're hoping also to just be able to get out in the loch um, and just enjoy ourselves. You know, uh, it's a very easy marina to get out of Carrick. It's um, very simple, 24 hour access, not a problem. So we're hoping to make use of that and just go and have some enjoyable winter sailing. On the plus side, uh, today's excitement has been that Amazon has been and delivered goodies to us. So we've got a new selfie stick, this one here. Um, we've got a nice new shiny galvanic isolator for the boat, which we haven't had before. This one's very easy to fit. It just goes in line on the boat and um, you just plug it in. That's basically it. No fixings, no fittings, no ripping out of wires. So suits me. I can live with that. But um, we've also got new camera mounts, which we hope to be able to install on the boat so that we can take more footage so you can see what's going on in the cockpit while we're sailing. And hopefully that will give you better ideas of what we're doing and what's going on. And uh, the last thing we've also got is some electrical stuff uh, because we still have a few electrical projects to deal with. Uh, we've got some spare light bulbs to replace our LED ones which occasionally go ping. I know LED ones are supposed to last for considerably longer than standard ones but I suspect these cheap ones are from China and you can buy expensive ones as well but to be honest it doesn't really make a lot of difference what you buy whether they're cheap or expensive they still go ping on a regular basis. So we've got ourselves a bunch of replacements uh, just to have as spares on board. They're not very big and they don't cost a great deal. That's probably the problem. If they cost more, maybe they might last longer. Who knows? But it is what it is. So we're just here. The worst of the storm has gone past. And we're just um, just relaxing as best we can. You know, Salty Lass is just behind me. You can see her here. And um, I'm going to go and get that galvanic isolator fitted so we can get that done. And um, let's go back into the warmer, sunnier days of summer when it was great fun to go out and sail and you could do it in a <laughs> t-shirt and maybe just a cardi underneath as opposed to having to wear all the thermal gear that we have to put on at this time of year. All right, so let's do that and I'll see you in a minute. Well, 
currently Beverly and I are um, at about 60 degrees to the wind. Now, when Beverly and I first started um, sailing Salty Lass, this was roughly where we would um, sail her and that was about as close as we could get her because we hadn't picked up the uh, tricks of the trade uh, from the RYA sail trim book. That's because we didn't own one. Because <laughs> we didn't own one. That is a good reason why we didn't pick up the tricks of the trade. So uh, what we're going to do in this video is we're just going to go through uh, the things that we learn and how we have uh, improved uh, our close hauling. So the first thing um, you need to know are the lines that you're going to be um, adjusting. Um, so um, we've got the traveller in the centre of the boat at the moment. And uh, I remember Beverly uh, talking about the traveller in the... Um, uh, when we were going over to um, Porth Dinkline and she was just saying, I've no idea what this does. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so there is the traveller uh, in the centre. Um, the other uh, line is the kicker, which brings the boom down and tightens the sail at the front. Whoa. Yeah, it's getting very gusty. Right, OK, we're just going to stop. <laughs> Well, let's try this again. <laughs> We've got uh, one reef in the main, but we're going to try and um, uh, improve our close hauling. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because the sail is on the starboard side, I'm going to be bringing the traveller over to the port side. Um, I'm going to be tightening up the kicker so that I'm bringing the boom down. And what's uh, that going to do? Well, basically, um, it's all about putting twist into the sail. Or taking it out. Or taking it out. And what we're looking for is we want all our telltales flying. Now, um, one, two, three, four, five. We have five telltales on Salty Lass. And depending on where the telltales are, depends on which part of the boom, um, how you need to... Uh, adjust the traveller and things like that so that you get all five out. Can we adjust it? We're getting a, uh, a gust again. All right, well, I'll let you get on with it. We'll uh, uh, let the main out because we want to um, ease, um, e ease the boat a bit. So what we'll do is we'll depower the main uh, and to do that, I'm just going to uh, open out the um, main sheet. Well, I've um, uh, moved the traveller across and that's me made that may so i've moved the um traveler to port and that means that we're 20 degrees closer to the wind than we were sailing before so what we are are we now Bev? uh just about 40 degrees instead of 60. we're 40 degrees instead of 60. well actually we're at 50 at the minute but that's just like yeah right. down at the business end of the genoa <laughs> i am um basically um when you're close hauling um you want the um sail um to be nice and flat because what you're actually creating is you're creating a wing and the wing actually goes between um the inside of the genoa and the outside of the main. So it's this airflow here that you're actually creating the wing with. It's the slot. And it's basically the slot. So you're actually sailing with the slot. Um, but um, what you're looking for in the uh, Genoa is um, you've got um, this particular sheet, uh, which is in this particular case, 
Oh, sorry, okay. Yeah, uh, we've got this particular sheet, in this case is the starboard sheet. And um, what you need to do is you need to get the position of the car uh, so that the sheet bisects this angle here. So um, at the moment, I would say that this sheet is not too far adrift, but I'm just going to um, move the sheet back and it will be lower down. Um, and that's not really what you want. You want it to be nicely bisecting the Genoa here. So, you know, there's the Genoa that goes up and you want a bisection there. Okay, I'm going to release the car. Okay. That's definitely not in the right angle, is it? No, it isn't. So if you release the um, Genoa. Release the Genoa. Yeah, and you also release the car. Okay, release the car. Yeah. So let the Jenny bag a bit. Make sure the car's got plenty of rope. The car's got plenty of rope. Okay. Grind away. I'll grind. And as you do, the car will move backwards. And it generally tends to find its own position. It does. Yeah, that looks about right. Just the same, where we just pull on this and transfer, you know, and keep the tension on the other rope. And that's all you do. can adjust to uh, improve your close hauling is um, the backstay. Now at the moment we haven't got a lot of tension in the backstay and I just feeling it you know I can it, it wobbles a lot so there's not a lot of tension but you need it to be like that when it's in port so that the uh, mast is upright but what you do what you can do is you can uh, pull on the, um, our line and that will increase the bend in the um, may in the mast. Um, in the mast. So as you uh, increase the bend, uh, you tighten um, the um, uh, Genoa, uh, but you also slacken off the uh, main off a little bit. Uh, so it sort of like does a combination of two things. So just depending on what you want, um, depends on where you want the, um, the backstay. But it's quite easy, thank goodness, to pull on it. How are you doing, muscles? <laughs> Not very well, but I pulled it a bit and already that line there is a lot more rigid. Mm. 